Man, oh man, do I feel like I've been talking until I'm blue in the face about finding the perfect Wi-Fi security camera. My white whale. A lot of you know this, a lot of you've been following along. Heck, a lot of you are searching for that camera with me. And we've come so close recently, but we are just shy of that level of perfection. So I thought, I'm gonna create a wish list. I'm gonna put it out into the world. Maybe the right people will watch this video and they will make us that perfect camera. Dare to dream, right? Because I think a lot of you will agree with me on this wish list. That's exactly what we're talking about today. Let's get to it. What up everybody, George Langevier here. So yeah, here we are, still searching for that perfect Wi-Fi security camera. And yes, we have been so close recently, but we can't seem to cross that finish line. So like I said, I came up with a wish list. I think a lot of you will agree with this wish list. Let's get right into it, starting with resolution. And when I say resolution, I'm talking about 1080p. Why are we still talking about 1080p in 2024? It needs to die. I remember back in the day when 720p was still a thing and how long that took to die. And it seems like the same thing is happening with 1080p. We got 2K, we got 4K, 8K is coming soon. Why? Oh, why is 1080p still around and so prevalent? I don't get it. Next up is Matter integration for security cameras. We keep getting all these new devices through Matter, through updates, but security cameras still aren't in the mix. Matter being the smart home protocol that was sent to us to save the smart home world, right? Well, it hasn't happened yet with security cameras, and I'm sick of doing all these camera reviews where it's Google Assistant and A-L-E-X-A, -E but no Apple Home. We need integration across all platforms. And even if that happens with Matter, we still need Apple on board. All these Matter devices that are coming out, sometimes Apple's not on board. So we need all the above to happen so we have some smart home unity when it comes to these Wi-Fi security cameras. All right, then let's move into design. We need to have more design and engineering with these security cameras because so many of them are so cheaply made. And I understand that's to keep the cost down for the consumer, but we need more premium options. So many of these are flimsy. They're not very vandal proof. They're so easy to steal because they've got these flimsy little magnet mounts. We need more engineering when it comes to the design. Then moving on to power. Let's talk about cameras that need to be plugged in. The cord that comes with these cameras need to be figured into the design. We need cords for professional installers like myself or people out there that just want to have a nice clean install. These cords need to be more weatherproof. We need to have different length options so we have that nice stable connection when we're plugging our camera in. Batteries. Now we're making some serious improvements when it comes to battery cameras but we need longer battery life. We need more durable cameras that are gonna last because if something fails on these cameras, it's usually the battery. And that takes us to the third power option, which is solar. Now, one company I wanna call out for the good is Eufy. Eufy is doing some amazing things with building solar power and solar panels into their cameras. They're just doing an awesome job. So I want that across the board with all cameras because it's a great way to save the planet as well. It stops us from having to worry about the cords. It stops us from having to worry about the battery life. And then it saves the earth. So we gotta work more solar energy into these cameras and have these integrated solar panels like Eufy's doing so well. Let's move on to some brands that need some new models as far as security cameras go. The ones that come to mind are Google Nest, Ecobee, and Eve. Google Nest still working off their indoor outdoor battery camera that's a couple of years old now. It's 1080p, it's got that magnet mount that's so easy to steal. Now I like certain things like they've got the battery option and they've got the different cord links if you do want to plug in the camera, but that camera's old man, we need a new model. And Google, come on, you're one of the big dogs, innovate. I hate the fact that you bought Nest and basically ruined that company that was so innovative and you're just slacking on things like security cameras. It's one of the number one categories in the smart home. Come on, give us new cameras. Then we got Ecobee. Now Ecobee is really starting to innovate. They've got a new doorbell, but they have this indoor camera, a nice little pan tilt camera, but it's 1080p and it's pretty old now. 
we need a new indoor model and now that we've got that doorbell we need an outdoor camera to complement it Ecobee's doing all this cool stuff with security they've got security built into the thermostat now all this cool stuff and they've really got a top of mind but come on give us a new camera then we've got eve now eve has the indoor cam and the outdoor floodlight cam now the eve cam is getting old the indoor model and it was also always pretty flimsy in my opinion we needed a more durable camera and we need a new updated model their outdoor floodlight camera one of the only outdoor cameras we have in HomeKit secure video and that's awesome but it's very specific in the fact that it's a floodlight and it needs that very specific electrical wiring we need a regular outdoor camera from eve and that would be fantastic next up i want to talk about smart home integration with wired security camera systems and i'm talking about nvrs and dvrs and i know you're going to say george this is supposed to be a wish list for wi-fi security cameras well guess what if i'm going to make this wish list i'm going to go for broke i'm going to talk about all my wants so here we go now when i'm talking about these cameras i'm talking about three different levels we got the drug dealer cameras we got swan lorex night owl we got the next level which is right in between like ubiquity and real link then we got the top tier the really commercial grade stuff from like alibi security my favorite brand you've heard me talk about them now all these brands also can be geared for residential but the companies themselves brand them mostly for commercial use just because that's the way they've been used to doing it since the beginning of time now cameras really have gained momentum as far as the residential world for a long time now, thanks to Ring introducing the video doorbell. Now, most of these companies just make more money commercially, so I understand their way of thinking, but we gotta gear it more completely with residential, and that includes the smart home. So all those brands I just mentioned, all the integration sucks with ALEXA, Google Assistant, and Apple Home, and we need to change that. Okay, let's talk about 24 seven recording. This is very important. And really the only option we have that's a good option is Google Nest with their Nest Aware. And 24 seven recording can be so important. Now, of course, we can still have the options of people, vehicles, pets, motion, whatever you wanna do. But that 24 seven backup is always great to have because so many times with these cameras, we miss events that are very important. When we're trying to protect our home, we want the entire event recorded and you can't do that without 24 7 at least a lot of the times now some of these cameras have great options where you can adjust for things like this but we need 24 7 recording across the board even as an option even if it's a paid option preferably free but every single brand out there needs to offer 24 7 recording that's the bottom line this next wish list item is probably the most important to me because as the owner of silver hammer surveillance the number one request I've gotten, I'd say for the last eight years or so, is good two-way audio. And I'm sorry, it just doesn't exist. I don't care what brand it is, it just doesn't exist. In fact, in my review videos, I was putting audio tests in those videos. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'm just testing, testing, testing. And I just stopped doing it because it's not even worth my time. They all suck. So until further notice, if you don't see me talking about two-way audio, it's because it sucks. So that next video where I do talk about it, it's because it pleasantly surprised me. And man, we finally got some good audio. So most of these cameras are good as far as the microphones, picking up stuff outside. That's fine. Where the problem lies is the speaker to talk back. So if you're trying to scare somebody across your yard or across your driveway or out in the street, they're not gonna hear you. And that's a problem because this could be a great feature. And I understand why it's such a big request because as far as being proactive and protecting your home, this could be huge, but it's not because nobody can hear you unless they're right up on the camera. And by then it's too late or they're right up on the camera and they can't even hear you because it's a jarbled mess. We need better two-way audio right now. It's fine for video doorbells because the person's standing right there. But even then, most of the time it's a joke. So two-way audio is probably the most important because it can be one of the most proactive things you can do to scare away somebody before the crime even happens. So please, somebody out there, give us a good two-way audio camera so I've got a good answer to give somebody when they make that request. All right, we're gonna finish off this wish list with a little subsection for Apple's HomeKit Secure Video. As many of you know, 
it was my favorite security camera platform for the smart home for a long time but i finally just got fed up and if you watch one of my more recent videos i talked about being done and i'm still done with HomeKit secure video but if they fix some of the issues on this wish list i would come back all right when it comes to this little mini list for HomeKit secure video we're gonna have some repeats so i'm not gonna go crazy into detail in those items but you get the idea and one of those things is 24 seven recording. We need 24 seven recording for HomeKit secure video because this is the number one platform where I think people miss events and that sucks. You can set it to people and vehicles, but if you're missing events, what's the point? So we need that 24 seven backup so we don't miss anything. And another repeat, we got 2K or 4K. HomeKit secure video is still 1080p and I'm telling you that needs to be an antique. We need to move on people. 8k is coming and my goodness we need more outdoor models we've got all these indoor cameras well most people put their cameras outside so what the heck we got an outdoor camera from logitech i don't like it we've got the e floodlight camera very specific you need to have the wiring for it we have a eufy battery camera but it's really only good if you like battery cameras it's they really don't have a good wired option and that's pretty much it and again, most people want their cameras outside. So we need outdoor cameras from Akara, Ecobee, Eve, more from Eufy, a new one from Logitech. Come on now, Akara, the number one request I got when people found out I was going to CES 2024 is Akara coming out with an outdoor camera. And Akara has so much cool stuff coming out that they talked about at CES 2024. But unfortunately, nobody could tell me when an outdoor camera is coming, and that's very disappointing. I love their products. I love what's coming out. I would love an outdoor camera from them. But same thing with Ecobee, Eve, and Eufy. Eufy's got so much great stuff going on in the camera world. In fact, of some of the cameras I've tried, they are the closest to perfect, especially with their solar panel ideas. I mean, that's awesome. But they've just kind of left Apple Home by the wayside. They were doing great there for a while. They've never had a HomeKit Secure Video doorbell. And that sucks, but they were doing pretty good for a while, but now it's just all out the window. And this is a big one. What is the number one category when it comes to security cameras for your home? What changed the game as far as, you know, back in the day, you were shady if you had security cameras in your house, the police were watching you. But then the video doorbell came along and changed everything. So we can thank Ring for that. But with HomeKit Secure Video, man, we only have like three options. Logitech, Wemo, and Akara, Logitech and Wemo, those doorbells are old. Akara is pretty new, but I would love to see a second generation from them. I would love to see a new generation from Logitech and Wemo too. But all these brands need a video doorbell for HomeKit Secure Video. I love the features with your HomePods and the Apple TV. It's really cool to have a video doorbell in HomeKit Secure Video, but not when all the options to buy suck. All right. There's my wish list. There's my little mini wish list for HomeKit Secure Video. What do you think? What is your favorite Wi Fi security camera? Let me know. Is there one out there I should be reviewing? Is there one I'm overlooking or video doorbell for that matter? Please let me know. Do you agree with my list? I think a lot of you will. Is there something that I left off? Is there something I should add? Please let me know that too. Is there something that I said that you think is ridiculous? Let me know that too. I love the feedback. But yeah, come on, give us some of these features, give us some of these new models, and maybe I can rest easy that I found my perfect Wi-Fi security camera. All right, there we go. Till next time, peace and love.